Mary, a simple safety pin and the message it now carries has created a controversy inside Shawnee Mission Schools. The district is telling teachers not to wear the pins and that action has the ACLU putting the district on notice. KCTV5's Betsy Webster is live tonight at Shawnee Mission North. Betsy? Well, Brad, the letter that the district sent to parents said that this has become a political statement, something that's divisive, and therefore it is a no-go during school hours. Now, in case you don't know what this stands for, people started putting them on their clothes after this election. They say that it tells others who may be disenfranchised, who may feel threatened, you can come to me, I'm safe. The school district says the ban simply upholds an existing policy about teachers taking a stand that's either political or disruptive. That doesn't sever anybody's ability to be active politically outside of school, away from students, but let's not have the controversy inside of school because it is causing disruption. The prohibition is causing a firestorm of criticism from parents, teachers, and alums who are filling the district's Facebook page. It's also getting criticism from the ACLU. Critics say the message the safety pins represent, that vulnerable people should not be bullied or attacked, is humanitarian, not political, and to ban them sends a message that discrimination is okay. We asked a few students at North what they thought, but we had to explain first because those we met didn't even know that wearing safety pins was a thing. I think they have the right to wear a pin, but you know, if it's causing drama, then they might need to do something about it. If it's causing drama between the teachers or the students or the parents, then maybe they shouldn't be doing it. Now, the district says that students, on the other hand, unlike staff, they can wear uh, something political, that is, unless or until it becomes a disruption. The ACLU wrote a letter to the superintendent of the Shawnee Mission School District urging him to reconsider his decision. They have not yet filed any sort of legal action, but they say they are seriously considering it. In Overland Park, Kansas, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.